Have you ever thought about what's truly essential when the going gets tough? Hey there, fellow preppers. As we all know, preparation is key, especially in uncertain times. If there's one thing that history has taught us, it's that when economies wobble or environmental changes occur, the first thing to feel the pinch is our food supply. It's not just about stocking up, it's about knowing asterisk what asterisk to stock up on. In today's video, we'll be diving into the world of commodities and foods to identify six items that might just become the gold standard in the pantry. But before we get into that, remember, it's not just about scarcity. It's about understanding value. Grab your notepads and let's dive right in. Here are the six food products that will be priceless in the coming months. Number six, coffee beans. Coffee is more than just a beverage. It's a global tradition, a morning ritual that kickstarts the day for millions. Its warm aroma and rich taste have solidified its place in many cultures. But our morning cup might soon get a little more expensive. The intricate process of coffee farming is highly sensitive to climate and relies on consistent weather patterns. The ideal conditions ensure that the beans mature properly, developing their characteristic flavors and aromas. However, regions renowned for their premium coffee produce, like parts of Brazil and Colombia, are witnessing unpredictable climate variations. Irregular rainfall patterns and sudden temperature shifts don't just pose a threat to the quantity being harvested, but can compromise the quality of each bean. Moreover, coffee crops are not just battling the weather. The coffee rust fungus, a dreaded pest in the coffee farming industry, finds the altered conditions conducive, further damaging yields. But nature isn't the only challenge. The global supply chain, the backbone of getting those beans from remote farms to your local cafe, is facing disruptions. Whether it's logistical issues, transportation challenges, or geopolitical tensions, the journey of the bean is fraught with obstacles. And while coffee connoisseurs might look for beans from alternative sources, there's no replicating the distinct flavors that come from these primary producing areas. Such uniqueness ensures a steady demand, and with reduced supply, it's an economic inevitability that prices will rise. As we relish the comforting warmth of our next cappuccino, latte, or simple espresso, it might be time to acknowledge that this pleasure might come with a slightly steeper price. Number 5. Chocolate For many, chocolate is not just food, it's an emotion. It's a source of comfort on a gloomy day and a companion in moments of joy. But the sweet delight which has charmed generations might be undergoing a bitter phase. Cocoa, the heart of every chocolate bar, demands a precise set of conditions to flourish. Much of the world's premium cocoa comes from West Africa, a region now grappling with the whims of changing climate patterns. Instead of the steady, predictable rains, farmers now face long, dry spells, abruptly interrupted by heavy, out-of-season downpours. Such inconsistencies don't just reduce the quantity of cocoa harvested, but can lead to beans that lack the depth of flavor quality chocolates are known for. Nature's challenges are compounded by pests and diseases, which find the altered weather patterns favorable for proliferation. These pests target cocoa plants, diminishing yields and compromising quality. But the challenges for chocolate don't end in the farm. The transformation from bean to bar involves other key ingredients, sugar and milk. Both of these are facing their own set of supply chain issues in various parts of the world. Merging all these challenges paints a concerning picture for chocolate aficionados. The entire process, from cultivation to production, is under strain, which will inevitably reflect in the cost. That luxurious dark chocolate bar or the comforting milk chocolate chips might soon come with a price that's a tad heavier on the wallet. Number four, avocados, often dubbed the green gold. Avocados have seen an astronomical rise in popularity in recent years. From avocado toasts at trendy cafes to homemade guacamole at family gatherings, this creamy, buttery fruit has become a staple for many. But the very factors that contribute to its lush texture and rich taste are now becoming its vulnerability. Growing avocados is a water-intensive affair. They thirst for consistent and ample hydration, but the primary avocado-producing regions like California and Mexico are grappling with an adversary, changing climate patterns. This has translated to prolonged periods of drought and water scarcity, 
creating an environment where avocado trees are under immense stress, leading to suboptimal yields. Beyond the challenges of nature, avocados have their intrinsic fragilities. These fruits are rather particular about their growing conditions. They flourish under specific temperature ranges and soil types and are quite vulnerable to pests. With the mounting demand worldwide for salads, smoothies, and countless other dishes, the pressure on the supply chain is palpable. The equation is simple. Increasing global demand, combined with challenges in production, equates to rising prices. Avocado aficionados might soon find that their favorite fruit, whether it's sliced on toast or mashed in a bowl, could take a slightly bigger bite out of their budgets. Number 3. Quinoa Quinoa, once a well-kept secret of the Andes, has now garnered global recognition. Often placed on a pedestal as a superfood, its nutritional profile is undeniably impressive. With high protein content and an array of essential nutrients, quinoa has become a favored choice for the health conscious. Predominantly grown in the high-altitude terrains of Bolivia and Peru, quinoa thrives in the specific ecological balance that these regions historically offered. However, the very environment that nurtures these grains is now showing signs of distress. Unpredictable weather events, from extended dry spells to sudden chills, are becoming more commonplace, jeopardizing the yields. The ripples of quinoa's global acclaim are multifaceted. On one hand, there's surging demand from international markets, naturally pushing prices upwards. On the other, in the very regions where quinoa has been a staple for generations, there's a shift in agricultural priorities. As more farmers see the economic benefits of quinoa, there's a trend of dedicating more land to its cultivation, sometimes sidelining other traditional crops. Such shifts can lead to local food imbalances and have socio-economic implications. For consumers worldwide, the combined impact of environmental challenges and changing agricultural landscapes suggests that this ancient grain might come with a more contemporary price tag. Number 2. Bananas Universally loved and recognized, bananas often grace our breakfast tables, smoothies, and desserts. Their sweet taste, combined with a convenient natural packaging, makes them a favorite for many. Most of us are familiar with the Cavendish variety, which dominates the international market. Yet a cloud of uncertainty hangs over these beloved fruits. Panama disease, or more specifically, its aggressive strain Tropical Race 4 is casting a shadow on banana plantations globally. This relentless fungus is notorious for decimating crops, and the issue is exacerbated by the fact that the Cavendish variety is largely genetically uniform. This uniformity means that when one plant is susceptible, they all are. Banana farmers and researchers are in a race against time, trying to outpace the spread of this disease. There are initiatives to develop resistant strains of bananas, but these endeavors are intricate, necessitating rigorous testing and validation. The magnitude of this challenge is not just about preserving our favorite fruit. It's also about sustaining the livelihoods of countless farmers and workers dependent on banana cultivation. So, the next time you peel a banana, it's worth remembering that it's not just a simple fruit. It represents a complex web of ecology, economy, and global trade. And if the winds don't change direction soon, our morning banana might become a luxury. Number 1. Lentils and Pulses Often understated, lentils and pulses have been the backbone of many diets, particularly in regions where meat consumption is lower or vegetarianism is prevalent. Their rich, earthy flavors make them versatile in a variety of dishes, and their nutritional profile positions them as powerhouses of plant-based protein. Countries like India, with its vast vegetarian populace, rely heavily on these grains, while nations like Canada have vast expanses dedicated to their cultivation. Yet, these tiny grains are facing colossal challenges. Weather irregularities, from sudden showers to prolonged dryness, have a pronounced impact on their yields. Given their sensitivity, any disruption in their growth cycle can compromise both the quantity and quality of the harvest. The narrative becomes even more complex with changing global diets. As the world slowly pivots towards sustainable eating habits, the allure of plant-based proteins has gained momentum. Lentils and pulses, being prime candidates in this category, 
are witnessing an upsurge in demand. These dynamics create a delicate balance. On one side is the escalating demand driven by both dietary preferences and population growth. On the other, we have the unpredictability of nature, making crop outcomes less certain. Together, these factors are steering the trajectory towards higher market prices. As we savor our lentil soup or relish a pulse curry, it's essential to appreciate the intricate dance of nature, agriculture, and economy that brings these humble grains to our plates. Thank you for watching.